Hi, and welcome to the third and final video on uh, the modulus function. And in this one, I want to talk uh, a little bit about kind of a, a very subtle difference between a couple of graphs. So what we've got is this one here is y equals the function of mod x. And this one here is y is mod the function of x. Now, it might appear that on first uh, sight, those two things look the same. But what we've got is a bottom mass issue, because essentially what's happening here, what I'm doing is I'm taking my value of x, taking the modulus and then putting it into my function. Whereas on this one, what I'm doing is take my value of x, putting it into my function, and then taking the modulus. So I'm doing the function part and the modulus part in two different orders. Okay? And that has uh, an effect on what these things look like when you look at them graphically. So let's have a look at what's going on. We already know that uh, this one here, the modulus of the function, is a reflection in the line uh, y, sorry, in the x-axis. So if I've got y equals the mod of x plus 4, all I do is draw my original line. The bits that are below the x-axis reflect it upwards. There you go. And if I did that one, we've seen that before. There we are. Exactly the same thing is going on. So this one here, which is the modulus of the function, is a reflection in the x-axis. But is that one different? Because that one is the function of the modulus. So let's have a look if that one is different. And I'm going to do it with uh, two very similar versions. So we've got f of x equals that, so I'm now going to do y equals f of mod of x. So what that means is we're doing this thing here. So in order to do this, what I'm doing is taking the modulus of x and putting it in place of that thing there, so that's why I'm getting y equals mod x plus 4. So what's going to happen? Well, let's start off with uh, our line as normal. So for the positive values of x, when x is greater than normal, uh, sorry, greater than 0, we have the line as normal since that, which comes from our definition of the modulus. So that's all fine. When we've got negative values of x, then the mod x becomes minus x. So minus minus. So what's going to happen is, if I was going to be plotting the point where x equals minus 1, for example, that would be exactly the same as plotting the point when x is 1. So, for example, I'd have x is minus 1. Modulus of minus 1 is 1, so I'm doing 1 plus 4, which is 5. So what we're getting is that happening. And if we continue that for other values, so for example, if I can take uh, the value of x equals a and the value of uh, when x is minus a, same thing happens. And so you get that going on. So you can see that what's happening this time, instead of reflecting in the x-axis, this is reflecting in the y-axis. Let's have a look at that again with our other function. So we've got g of x equals x squared minus 7x minus 18. So let's do y equals g of the mod of x. So what I'm going to do is take modulus x and put it in place of x here each time. So we've got that. And again, same deal. Start with the positive values of x. And so, for example, uh, if I had the value of when x was minus 9, I'd put minus 9 there. It would become 9, 9 squared. I'd put minus 9 in there. It would become just positive 9. It would be exactly the same. And what it would come out would be a 0. Long story short, reflecting the y-axis, that's what's going to happen. So you've got the two things. The one graph, this one here, is a reflection in the x-axis. The other graph, that one there, is a reflection in the y-axis. Jobs are good.